We are pleased that the University of Oslo can serve society by cooperating across sectors and by being an arena for dialogue. Academia's role in society is to encourage deeper understanding, critical thinking, and free speech, which is why dialogue indeed is so important. The rights of indigenous peoples are frequently being challenged, disputed, neglected. Civil rights is about treating everyone the same. Human rights is about acknowledging people's differences so they can be treated as equals. Nuestros abuelos nos recuerdan que tenemos que dejar un camino para las nuevas generaciones para que continúe su vida plena. We have cultural sites at home that have been destroyed by a lot of development and today I'm here to just represent a portion of thought and idea of how to eliminate fossil fuel development and extraction of mineral development that affects our Aboriginal homelands, our cultural knowledge and more importantly our cultural spirituality that's connected to these areas. That is the most important issue for us to be able to participate in the decision-making process. We want a say in whether a mine should be established or not. So the dividing lines are historical and also contemporary. There are very wide social economic gaps. So we've worked collaboratively for many years at the United Nations to develop one unique instrument called the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples that would help now bridge uh, the divide, as it were. Both of them have irreversible uh, interventions in the, uh, in the indigenous land. Yes. And uh, also you can say that both of them violate the UN Declaration on Indigenous Peoples' Right. The mine has strong local support. The mayor tells me it can bring new optimism and growth, and the ground owner argues that the mining project will help safeguard the Sami culture and language locally. And I would now like to draw your attention to the people who made this all possible, and that's our sponsors. With any luck, this is step one of several steps to come that would lead to something resembling a rapprochement or a crossing the divide, as the title goes here. There are many things that would cross the divide, but at the very foundation of it, um, the American government needs to recognize that we are a sovereign people. We are capable, we are intelligent, we are um, entitled to be who we are, and, it, and it's time for them to acknowledge us as such. We are a nation within what they call their country and it's time for them to honor the, the, the laws that they've created, it's time for them to honor the treaties that they've written and the promises that they've written on those papers.